In this video, I will inform you about the causes and remedies of brain fog, based as always, only on scientific data ascertained by the most experts in the field. Causes and Remedies of Brain Fog Hi, I'm Dr. Manu, and this channel is all about health and wellness. I help you by providing certified scientific information in a simple and cohesive way. Now, let's dive right in. What is brain fog? Brain fog is not a specific disease, but corresponds to a set of symptoms that can derive from the most disparate causes. The types of cognitive disorders that characterize it are a lack of mental clarity and inability or difficulty to focus and memory lapses. Some people also describe it as mental fatigue. If the brain fog is particularly severe, it can interfere with the performance of normal daily functions. What causes brain fog? There can be various causes at the origin of brain fog. Obviously, once the cause or the causes, as most often happens, have been identified, the problems can be solved. Here I list the most common recognized causes and some more obscure but always common that you may not know. Stress. Having momentary drops in cognitive performance in situations of high pressure is normal. Some people manage stressful situations better than others, but in general, the problem is when this status continues over time. According to a 2017 research, chronic stress can increase blood pressure, cause mental fatigue, weaken the immune system, and trigger depression. A common trait in people under stress is anxiety. Sometimes the anxiety triggering a stress response can lead to a vicious cycle in which stress, anxiety, and the symptoms of brain fog feed off each other. In fact, there is evidence that stress can cause anxiety symptoms, memory impairment, and poor concentration. Moreover, chronic stress and anxiety can lead to exhaustion, and when your brain is in that state, it becomes harder to think, remember events, reason clearly, and focus. What is the remedy? Depending on the frequency of the stressful condition, the severity of symptoms, and possible underlying mental health conditions, Removing this cause can be particularly difficult. If the condition prevents you from carrying out daily chores adequately, or if it extends over time even though there are no particular events in your life that disturb you, the most profitable solution is to talk to a specialized therapist. There are specific methods of action and therapies for stress, anxiety, and possible trauma, which are scientifically proven to work for most people. If, on the other hand, you believe that your symptoms are not so severe, and that in any case the stress and anxiety derive from objective and fleeting events that will not last over time, then the recommended solution is divided into two parts. Learning techniques that facilitate relaxation, such as deep breathing, meditation, tai chi, and yoga. And letting your body let off steam, taking long walks in nature, and doing moderate to heavy physical exercises several times a week. All of this brings enormous benefits that go beyond simply reducing stress and anxiety levels lack of sleep. According to a summary of sleep research, poor sleep quality can interfere with how well your brain functions. The goal is to sleep eight hours every day. Medium and short-term memory, speed in performing mental and physical tasks, the ability to concentrate and clarity of thought, and the processing of new data by the brain are just some of the functions that are impaired by lack of sleep or its low quality. Yes, because even poor sleep quality has negative effects on both the brain and the rest of the body. Quoting from the best-selling book, Why We Sleep, by Matthew Walker, neuroscientist and university professor of neuroscience and psychology. Even if you are giving yourself plenty of time to get a full night of shut-eye, next day fatigue and sleepiness can still occur because you are suffering from an undiagnosed sleep disorder, of which there are now more than a hundred. The most common is insomnia, followed by sleep-disordered breathing or sleep apnea which includes heavy snoring. Should you suspect your sleep or that of anyone else to be disordered, resulting in daytime fatigue, impairment, or distress? Below in the description, associated with this number, you will find the link to a questionnaire that has been developed by sleep researchers that will allow you to determine your degree of sleep fulfillment. It is called Sated, it is easy to complete, and contains only five simple questions. Also, keep in mind that there is no major psychiatric condition in which sleep is normal. This is true of depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and many others. The lack of adequate quantity and quality of sleep also contributes to the causes of brain fog mentioned above, namely stress and anxiety. The activation of the fight-or-flight state by the sympathetic nervous system that occurs during stress due to lack of adequate sleep goes into overdrive. 
the consequential strain that is placed on your body by the persistent force of sympathetic activation will leak out in all manner of health issues. The cascade of negative effects that come with it are so many that I would have to make another video of 10 plus minutes just to list them all. What is the remedy? If the lack of adequate sleep derives from lifestyle, the solution is obvious, even if it can be difficult. Two-thirds of adults throughout all developed nations fail to obtain the recommended eight hours of nightly sleep. It is therefore not surprising that diseases strongly associated with chronic sleep deprivation, such as heart attack, diabetes, senile dementia, cancer, depression, anxiety disorder, obesity, and others are on the rise in Western society, especially in the United States of America. If you chronically sleep less than eight hours a day, despite your lifestyle, or if you suffer from sleep disorders such as snoring and sleep apnea, it is recommended that you consult a doctor who specializes in sleep and sleep disorders. Yes, I know it sounds strange, but they exist. Hormonal changes. According to research from 2018, hormonal changes can also trigger brain fog. Levels of the hormones progesterone and estrogen increase during pregnancy. This change can affect memory and cause short-term cognitive impairment. Similarly, a 2019 study confirmed that during menopause, a drop in estrogen can cause forgetfulness, poor concentration, and cloudy thinking. Diet Researchers, using data from the Framingham Heart Study, found that people who drink sugary beverages frequently are more likely to have poorer memory, smaller overall brain volume, there were signs of accelerated brain aging, and a significantly smaller hippocampus, an area of the brain important for learning and memory. Later, using the same huge amount of data, they examined whether these findings could carry a higher risk of neurological disease. And in fact, they found that the correlation between the consumption of sugary and artificially sweetened beverages and the risk of having a stroke, senile dementia, and Alzheimer's is high enough to be statistically significant. Another indication on how much a lifestyle element can influence other elements causing a chain reaction is found in these studies, for example, in which it was noted how the consumption of soft drinks and other simile beverages affects sleep patterns and their quality, especially in students and young people. In addition, sugary drinks cause inflammatory reactions and disturb insulin sensitivity, favoring hypertension, obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Refined carbs. Refined carbs, including sugars and highly processed grains, such as white flour, impair brain function. Research has shown that just a single meal with a high glycemic load can impair memory in both children and adults. This effect on memory may be due to inflammation of the hippocampus, a part of the brain that affects some aspects of memory, as well as responsiveness to hunger and fullness cues. Inflammation is recognized as a risk factor for degenerative diseases of the brain, including Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Trans fats. The most prestigious scientific body in the United States, the National Academies of Science, in their report condemning trans fats, they couldn't even assign a tolerable upper daily limit of intake because I quote, any incremental increase in trans fatty acid intake increases coronary heart disease risk. There is no safe intake of dietary cholesterol and saturated fat as well. If we analyze the data of each meta-analysis in the scientific literature, but as scientists consider it too drastic an option, even if truthful, as stated by one of the authors of the aforementioned report, who is the director of Harvard's cardiovascular epidemiology program states, I quote, we can't tell people to stop eating all meat and all dairy products, he said. Well, we could tell people to become vegetarians, he added. If we were truly basing this only on science, we would, but it is a bit extreme. Wouldn't want scientists basing anything on science now, would we? In any case, these trans fats are found in meats of all types, fish of all types, dairy products of all types, eggs, margarine, frosting, snack foods, ready-made cakes, and prepackaged cookies. People who consume higher amounts of trans fats tend to have an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease, poor memory, lower brain volume, and cognitive decline. In the early 2000s, contrary to research, it was stated that only artificial trans fats are dangerous. But given the ever-growing body of studies like this one, which confirm its all-around danger, this notion today is only propagated by charlatans. Highly processed foods Highly processed foods tend to be high in sugar, added fats, and salt. They include foods such as chips, sweets, instant noodles, microwave popcorn, store-bought sauces, and ready-made meals. These foods are usually high in calories, low in nutrients such as minerals and vitamins, 
and generally have zero antioxidants and fiber. They're exactly the kinds of foods that promote the increase of body fat, which can have a negative effect on your brain health. A study found that increased fat around the organs, which is visceral fat, is associated with brain tissue damage. Another study found that there's a measurable decrease in brain tissue even in the early stages of metabolic syndrome. The composition of those foods in themselves can also negatively affect the brain and contribute to the development of degenerative diseases. A diet high in unhealthy ingredients result in lower levels of sugar metabolism in the brain and a decrease in brain tissue. These factors are thought to be markers for Alzheimer's disease and dementia. A study carried out on 18,080 people found that a diet high in fried foods and processed meats is associated with lower scores in learning and memory. Similar results in another study of 5,038 people. A diet high in red meat, processed meat, and fried food was associated with inflammation and a faster decline in reasoning. You can avoid altogether high processed foods and trans fats by eating fresh or frozen whole plant foods, such as fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, and whole grains. Aspartame Aspartame is an artificial sweetener used in many products with no added sugars. Phenylalanine, one of its main compounds, can cross the blood-brain barrier and might disrupt the production of neurotransmitters. Additionally, aspartame is a chemical stressor and may increase the brain's vulnerability to oxidative stress. Scientists think that these factors may cause negative effects on learning and process emotions, which have been observed when aspartame is consumed in excess. People who consume a diet rich in aspartame are more irritable, had a higher rate of depression, and perform worse on mental tests, according to another study. There are naturally occurring sweeteners that do not raise the glycemic index and are much safer for health, such as stevia, for example. Alcohol Anyone who tells you that drinking in moderation is positive for your health, including mental health, is deceiving you. Citing the report, published in the prestigious medical journal The Lancet, the World Heart Federation states that the portrayal of alcohol as necessary for a vibrant social life has diverted attention from the harms of alcohol use, as have the frequent and widely publicized claims that moderate drinking, such as a glass of red wine a day, can offer protection against cardiovascular disease. These claims are at best misinformed and at worst an attempt by the alcohol industry to mislead the public about the danger of their product. There is no safe level of alcohol consumption. Even small amounts of alcohol have been shown to raise the risk of cardiovascular disease, including coronary disease, stroke, heart failure, hypertensive heart disease, cardiomyopathy, atrial fibrillation, and aneurysm. Alcohol consumption is also a promoter of cancer, digestive diseases, intentional and unintentional injuries, and several infectious diseases, as well as accelerating cognitive decline. In addition, this is linked to another brain fog factor, Mentioned above, because alcohol deeply disrupts sleep patterns. Quoting again from the best-selling book, Why We Sleep. Many individuals believe alcohol helps them to fall asleep more easily or even offers sounder sleep throughout the night. Both are resolutely untrue. Alcohol is in a class of drugs called sedatives. It binds to receptors within the brain that prevent neurons from firing their electrical impulses. Saying that alcohol is a sedative often confuses people. How can a sedative enliven you? Early in the timeline of alcohol's creeping effects, sedation only affects the prefrontal cortex, reducing the control and restriction of one's behavior. As a result, we loosen up. Give alcohol a little more time, and it begins to sedate other parts of the brain, dragging them down into a stupefied state. Alcohol sedates you out of wakefulness, but it does not induce natural sleep. Rather, it is akin to a light form of anesthesia. Alcohol fragments the state of consciousness, littering the night with brief awakenings that are not remembered in the morning, but that impact the refreshment. Besides, alcohol is one of the most powerful suppressors of REM sleep that we know of. When the body metabolizes alcohol, it produces byproduct chemicals called aldehydes and ketones. The aldehydes in particular will block the brain's ability to generate REM sleep. People consuming even moderate amounts of alcohol in the afternoon and or evening are thus depriving themselves of dream sleep. You don't have to be using alcohol to levels of abuse, to suffer its deleterious or REM sleep, disrupting consequences. Heavy metals found in fish and shellfish. Mercury, lead, nickel, arsenic, cadmium, chromium, copper, are just some of the heavy metals that regularly pollute the water and its animals. Each of them is toxic to human health 
and they cause both acute and chronic effects. Just to name a few. They strongly contribute to all types of neurogenerative disorders, such as dementia including early dementia, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. They alter the function of mitochondria at the cellular level, accelerate the aging of the body through their supply of oxidative stress and the inflammation they cause, reduce the processing of proteins, cause cognitive impairment, and many other diseases and conditions. Medications If you take medications, read the patient information leaflet to see if any of the side effects may be related to brain fog. Many drugs can affect mental abilities, and some side effects can develop, even after months or years of regular consumption. If you think a drug you are taking may be affecting you negatively, talk to your doctor about it. Medical conditions Medical conditions associated with inflammation fatigue or changes in blood glucose level can also cause mental fatigue. For example, brain fog is a symptom of chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. Other conditions that may cause brain fog are anemia, the cause of which is often the intake of caffeine which blocks iron receptors, depression, diabetes, viral infections like COVID-19, Alzheimer's disease, hypothyroidism, autoimmune diseases like lupus, arthritis, multiple sclerosis, Estrogen syndrome, and dehydration. Finally, another common cause of brain fog is allergy. In particular, the more common food ones, such as dairy, gluten, and peanuts. Supplements that can help Many individual nutrients help to temporarily reduce the symptoms of brain fog, but it is best to take them through food. No supplement can ever replace a proper diet. But there are certain concentrated extracts, which cannot be consumed normally through the diet, which have very good scientific results in combating brain fog. The non-drugs, compounds, scientifically approved to be the most effective for brain fog are mango leaf extract and peppermint oil. As always, for further information, I leave the scientific studies in the description under the video and in my pinned comment. But to synthesize, those compounds improve reaction time, reduces mental fatigue, boost attention, performance accuracy, working memory, reduce the development of mental fatigue, and improve aspects of attention and memory. In conclusion, as we have seen, many causes of brain fog derive from lifestyle. By optimizing it, the quality of life increases. Furthermore, the same precautions that improve the symptoms of brain fog and that can eliminate it are effective prevention and containment measures against many other pathologies. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on new content. Thanks for watching.